Hello, I'm Senator Dean Burke. I'm State Senator Dr. Michael Rett. I'm Marty Harbin from the 16th District. I am State Senator Horacina Tate, and I am honored to represent the 38th Senatorial District of Georgia. I want to take a moment to recognize and honor brave men and women of our armed forces for their dedication and sacrifice. These courageous men and women across all five branches of service protect our nation, our liberties, and our freedoms. Today, approximately 22 million military veterans are in the United States and over 753,000 of them live right here in Georgia. Veterans own almost 9% of all U.S. businesses and are a very important part of each and every community. Each year on the 11th day of the 11th month, we pause as a nation to remember and celebrate those who help protect the freedoms and liberties we all experience daily. Everyone who has served in the armed forces has a story about when and why they chose military service. In my time in the military, I've seen and met brave men and women from all walks of life. They willingly traded time with their families for a lifestyle that included military training and combat deployment. Their sacrifice is crucial to the preservation of our country and the principles it was founded on, freedom, opportunity, and hope. One of my constituents, Zach, went away as a young man and came back changed forever. Today, he's a hero, but the price of his heroism has and will alter his future forever. Many Americans struggle to fully understand the sacrifice our men and women in uniform give in exchange for our freedom. You know, we need to thank those that are veterans. And uh, I think about this, I was in the airport a couple of weeks ago, and a young man was there with me, had on a camouflage pack and everything else. And I just looked over to him. I said, hey, I just want to thank you. Thank you for defending our freedoms. Thank you for taking a stand. Thank you for being willing to give your life for our freedom of our country. You know, he looked at me, a smile. He said, thank you, sir. He said, sometimes I don't know if everybody's appreciative. And I said, let me tell you, we are. And I just thanked him for his time. But let us not forget to take a moment to thank those veterans' families and military families who have paid a price for our freedom. We must always support our military families as they watch loved ones deploy for service and pray for their safe return. I am asking that you take a moment to reflect on what it means to be a part of this great country and to let our service men and women know we honor our veterans past and present. Thank you for your service. Your example inspires others to follow in your footsteps. Whether you served in the Air Force, Army, Marine Corps, Navy, or Coast Guard, thank you for your service, commitment, and dedication to our state and our nation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On behalf of Senate District 38, the citizens of Georgia, and a very grateful nation. Thank you, and may God bless you.